Hey guys, what is going on? HDV here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Uranium Let's Play. In the last episode, we made it to this town after going through many hard gym battles. And uh, like I said in the last episode, I would grind everyone up, but there is a couple of things that I have to go through just before we get into the episode. If you haven't already noticed on the layout, and um, we do have this Pokemon now, um, Ua Ua Man, it's a sheep basically. Um, Bashan is its actual name, and um, I was just going back uh, through all the houses that I'd missed. And, um, you know, gr between grinding Pokemon. <clears throat> and I found a trainer who wanted to trade this thing for a, um, for a, a Fortock. And so I was like, well, I don't know what it is. Like, all I saw was the name. And I was like, well, it's a new Pokemon. Like, it could be an electric type, it could be a grass type. Why not just go catch a Fortock? And then, um, I'll be able to trade it. What I didn't know was that Fortogs are actually pretty damn rare in the water. We got really lucky because we found it with our first encounter when I used my old rod when we actually found this one. But it took me, like, seven Magikops that I had to get through before I finally found a new one. And I, and I um, I got a level 5 Fortog and I traded it for this thing. Um, and, uh... Yes, yeah, dark and fine time. It looks absolutely amazing. I think this is probably my new favorite Pokemon in this game, um, even more than Raptorch. Like, I absolutely love the design of this Pokemon. It's so good and dark and fighting as well. Uh, it has low kick, uh, Leer, Focus Energy, and Stomp, and has Guts as well. Um, not the best nature. It's a bit slow because of the speed um, decrease. But, I mean, it has a bit of physical defense, which is always nice. Um, but, yeah, I thought it was, it was just a really, really cool thing to find. Um, uh, and I had no idea about it, so I'm really happy that I um that I found it. And uh, um, there was a, like a trainer in the Pokemon Center that, that kept like sending out those Chipmunk Pokemon, so I literally just kept low kicking everything. So this was quite easy to train. Plus, it gets the EXP boost from being a traded Pokemon, so it gets more boost from that as well, which is really really cool. Uh, grinding on this game is very difficult. I spent like an hour this morning um, trying to just grind everyone up, and I still didn't get everyone to the levels that I wanted to get to it. I wanted everyone to get to level 14, but it was just taking so long. I was just like, I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> so um, these are the levels. We have Fangs at level 13, who learn Fury Swipes. Uh, we have U UA. I don't know what I'm, I don't know how I'm going to pronounce this thing. Uh, we've just been through him. We have Blubber, who learned Acid. Um, we have Sky who didn't learn anything, and then we have Blaze who didn't learn anything. And we still have Stones, but like I said, I'm not going to level up Stones. Stones is just there for um, Death Honor and stuff. <clears throat> I did all the trainer school and everything. There's a trainer school down there just because I needed Pokemon. It was taking ages to level up through Wild Pokemon. So I just needed to find um, trainers I could beat and level up on because it was just taking so long. So if there is literally any quick technique to level Pokemon up, please tell me because it literally takes so long. Um, I'm not going to fight the gym this episode i'll probably take the trainers out i want to do a bit more exploring um i know this is the way <clears throat> i literally when i finished training everyone I, I i came back to this town and realized that there was grass here and trainers here and i haven't fought any of the trainers here i don't think hey keep distance from kama cave pokemon there are attacking in groups it's really dangerous to go through it alone but yeah there are wild pokemon in this uh grass so they're probably going to be higher levels than what i've been fighting so that was great when i found that out um <clears throat> So what's this thing? Oh yeah, this was in the trainer school. I don't know what it is, but it was so difficult to take down. It was like an electric type Pokemon or something, and it's just destroying my whole team. It really was. Uh, so I wouldn't mind getting one of those because I would like an electric type. Um, although we do have nearly a full team now uh, because that dark and fighting type really did um, took it took it really took another spot. So I don't know who I'm gonna. Re replace if we find like an electrical grass time we do have the giga drain tm which is really really nice we can teach that to someone when we do find a grass type pokemon damn we are immune to that blaze is like nah man you keep your thunder shocks to yourself pal uh but he, oh this thing just keeps charging though which is really annoying because it's just special defense just keeps going up and it's super annoying um but yeah the trainer school was literally a few battles and, uh, and then we got a nugget at the end of it which was really cool i'm gonna scratch now because he has plus he's at plus two special defense now after this charge um yeah, we got a golden nugget at the end, which obviously sells for five grand, so that's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, there was some really, really cool uh, Pokemon in the trainer school. I'm a bit annoyed, like, I didn't get it on camera. Uh, well, I just kind of Ember, actually, it's Stab. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just needed to train everything up. But I mean, it wasn't a huge part of the story that we needed to definitely do. It was just literally a bunch of trainers. Uh, there was a probably there was a couple uh, Pokemon that were really cool, but I'm sure we'll find them anyway uh, through the game. Like I said, there was this one in there, and then there was another one that was like... Um, it's kind of like a snake with like a hand on the end of its tail. And then there was a trainer with all three starter Pokemon, which was really, really cool to see. Um, but I wish I could have um, the starter Pokemon. Nice, nah, so we get Flame Body popping now when this thing's going to die next turn. Well, this turn actually, because December's going to pop him. 
or the burn might anyway. No, the burn actually was kind of useful. <laughs> fair play, fair play. I take back what I shouldn't have said. But we are getting some nice XP from the, uh, these Pokemon now. So I might have a little look in this grass actually, see if we can find one of those electric cats. Because I wouldn't mind that on my team at all. So this thing's appearing, the, the Spony. Level 13, these, fang the, these fangs, these levels are like super clutch. So if we can find something in the grass, oh that means that the gym leader is going to be really tough. The gym leader is in the town we've just come from. Um, so that means we probably need to grind up a little bit more to be honest. But um, yeah, we'll probably fight the gym leader next episode. What is that? Pah? Pah? Part of me really wants to catch that. It's like a fire and electric type. That looks so good. I wonder if it evolves. It's got to evolve. It looks like it evolves into like a phoenix or something. I'm definitely catching this and calling it like crimson or phoenix or something like that. I don't really want to replace... Bur nice one, Fangs. You're doing a great job. I don't want to replace Burby. But th oh, and the crit, really cool. But this thing looks really cool. So let's see if we can catch it. It does look fire and electric type. A fire and electric type bird would be insane. But it's going to be fire type. It's going to be a bird type, surely, anyway. So, maybe it's fire and flying? It's fire and flying incinerate. So, we probably won't put it in the team. Whoa! That was much health that I just took. We'll catch it now because um, Fangs will get the experience. So, probably not going to put it in my team because we already do have a fire type Pokemon. But it's still going to be nice to have in the PC if we can catch it. Please. Nice. Uh, I will still call it like Crimson. Uh, Fien oh, no, I'll go with uh, Crimson. Crimson is a good, good name. I wish I told you the typings here. Oh, it does. Fire and Flying. Okay. Yeah, so probably not going to put it in the team, but still really nice to have. So, um, just seeing all these really cool Pokemon. That, that should have given us a bit of XP from that. 122. Bang. Lovely. So now we've got to go here a little because that grass was hella strong. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, in this episode, I'll probably take a couple of those trainers out then go up to the gym and take the gym trainers out maybe i might do that um i might just put crimson in my team anyway just because it's a high level pokemon you know and it's going to be able to take a hit from something i know we're not going to have rock smash anymore if we do take if we put stones in the pc but i feel like the smarter idea is to put um crimson in instead of uh stones like i say we're losing rock smash but i'm sure we'll be able to teach rock smash to someone Let's actually have a look at this Pokemon real quick, because I'm actually intrigued. See how good it is. Uh, bashful nature. Big pecs. Pre uh, prevent protects defense lowering attacks. Has See, it has some nice moves. That's a really... I wish we had gone with the water type starter Pokemon. Or the grass type. If we went with the grass type starter Pokemon, we'd have Fortock for the water type. And then we'd have Crims uh, that bird thing for the fire types. And we would be looking really, really cool right now. Um, so we still need to find a grass type Pokemon. But yeah, I'm just putting Crimson in just because it's a high level. It's like literally the same levels as my team now. So it fits right. It fits really nicely. So we did get some Citrus Berries. That's really nice. Going to have to use that for the gym. Um, we'll have to see what kind of levels are the, the gym are just so we don't go in uh, wasting my Citrus Berries. Because we're probably going probably gonna to get bopped in the gym. Not going to lie. Um, this game is really difficult. Like I'm, having, I'm struggling on wild... Um, I'm wild. I'm struggling on trainers, so let alone um, actual gym leaders and stuff. That's going to be pretty difficult. But like I say, I I actually like the aspect of this being really. What is that? So what's that then? Anyone going to tell me what that is? Because that looks scary. Looks like an electric type. But I do get the intimidate off. That looks very very scary. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, I I like the aspect of it that it's actually really really hard to beat. Because um, I like it when... Oh, do you, what is Fury Swipes' accuracy? We've, we've literally missed two and hit one. And now it's defense curling. Great. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I like the fact that it's a difficult game. Are we... What is Fury Swipes' accuracy? Because this is ridiculous. We've literally used it four times and hit one. How is it 80 accuracy? But we've hit... We've hit one out of four, so that's twenty-five percent. It has spark. Great. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Finally, we hit one, but his defense killed now, so it's not really gonna do much. Gonna have to swap out into something else. 
two times as well, so you hit the lowest amount. That's great. Fang, is, you are doing a great job. So I can't really go into anything but Blaze because electricity kind of destroys my team. Let's go into Blaze. I don't know what level Blaze evolves, by the way, because it obviously it's level 16 right now and it didn't try and evolve, so we'll have to wait and see what, what level it evolves at. But this, this literally just the wild, just the trainers are very difficult to beat in this game. So I can see us struggling a lot on gym leaders. Uh, I'm just luckily, I'm just lucky that we're getting like a, quite a diverse team. Um, but I will have to probably get rid of uh, a couple of Pokemon here and there to make way for new typings. So Fang's level 14 now. That's cool. Fang should be evolving soon. In all fairness, Paha, he's fire and flying. So we could go into Blubber. We'll go into Blubber. Get some experience for the frog of the team. Blubber's looking nearly level 14, so that's cool. I need this Pokemon to learn a water type attack so much. Like, even water gonna be fine. I just, like, it's great that we get, we've got Acid and Poison Sting. It's just I need the water type, because that's mainly why he's in the team for. That incinerate did a lot today, it's not very effective. Now he's pecking me. Is that gonna do more? It's still stab. Still a lot. I don't even think we're gonna be able to beat this thing. So if we had water gun, we'd be fine. Oh, that crit might add so much. Yeah, if we had war type attack, it'd be, we'd be sorted. And he has quick attack. So this Baha is a really good pro crit for crit. I think we'll be able to beat it, though. This should kill. Nice. Okay, will it level us up? Bang, level 14. Nice. And we beat Carlton, the triathlete. So still no ev evolutions for the squad. That's a bit worrying. So we got an ether. That's nice. That's nice. So what's up here, then? Another item I see. A nugget, nice. So we've got 10 Gs now. So money isn't really a problem for us. See, part of me wants to go heal up. What I do need to actually do, though, is get my other level 13 up to level 14. And we need to get Burby up a level as well. I like the fact that everyone's kind of like at the same level now. It's just we're kind of lower than what we should be at. I'll probably love to sail from West Taylor to East and back again. The ocean is my one true love. There's an item up here. We'll, get, we'll grab that real quick. Another a super potion. That's really, really nice. So I take it this is the way to the next town, but obviously we need to beat the gym first. And Ekans! Okay. That's annoying, because I can't actually beat it because it's poison type. And I'm out here with my dark and fighting time, but we'll run away. Level 14. We can't even escape. Uh, Don't poison me. I swear my luck has been awful on Pokemon lately. Literally awful. There we go, run away. But we, we kind of got to go heal. Because, yeah, that's annoying. What I'm going to do is go take on some gym trainers, actually. Whilst we're there, there's no point in running back and forth with all this bad luck that I'm getting. Let's actually have a look, see if we can find anything else in this grass. We'll have one little more encounter. Tancoon? What the heck is that? That looks like a second stage Pokemon. Or it could be like a single stage. It's going to howl. Oh my god, it's going to kill us. If, if the slowest kick doesn't kill, which it probably won't, I'll we'll have to switch out. Oh, yes. This Pokemon is so good. This is why it's my favorite Pokemon in the game. There we go. That's the boosted XP we get. Just helps so much. So much. If there is a lucky egg in this game or an EXP share, that's also going to help. It's going to be so clutch. Because, honestly, it's, if you haven't played this game, uh, or if you have played this game, you'll understand how long it takes to level Pokemon up. And because it's, it's not like the game's easy and it's hard to level up, it's the game's hard to level up on and the game's really hard. So it's literally just hard it's difficult to, to beat but like i said i like that factor about it but yeah we go we're gonna go to the gym see what that's all about i think it's up here anyway i might cast my rod in this this little pond probably find another four tog is this the gym really wow it's in a cave that's the cave excavation master that's a little bit weird i love this music what well, you got them I understand, I remember though that the guy in the Pokemon Center told us that this gym's literally got like typing from everywhere. Literally everywhere. That's, I can stomp it, never mind. I'm gonna get so much experience from this gym. You see, they're, they're, the, the trainer levels are 14. You know, we are so under leveled for this fight. It's unreal. Don't poison me, please. Thank you. Stomp should do relatively nice damage. Maybe not. It's not stab though, is it? I keep forgetting, I think it's stab, I think, I keep thinking it's normal and dark. Oh my lord, what is with these poisons? It's just it's just annoying because I have to keep going back and forth to the Pokemon Center. I can't remember what types the gym leader is. I think it's like I think dark is one of them. 
which is nice because we have this thing for the dark types. We can just low kick everything. But knowing our luck, it's probably going to be dark and flying, so it's neutral. That is a lot of XP. Look at that bang. Oh, the poison there is so annoying. What else you got? Autonomy. That's another autonomy. Um, we'll go into. I don't actually know what typing it is. So I. But it's got. It's using poison type attack, so I probably won't go into blubber. I'll go into sky. Sky's near level fifteen. We'll get sky upper level. I hope that we don't get poisoned again. Although we've got to go back to the Pokemon Center anyway. Smog. I'm probably going to get poisoned again, though, in my look. Maybe not. That did nothing. Burby's got that bulk. Is Smog physical or special? I really don't remember. I think it's physical? Might be special. I really don't know. No. I'm just I'm just guessing. It's 50 50. I'll probably get it wrong. So one more ghost will finish this thing off and get us to level 15, which will be nice. Very, very nice indeed. But. Of course, because it's Pokemon and the RNG is destroying us lately on the channel, we get poisoned. And the last one. Bang, level 15, nice. Air Cutter? That's really nice. That's really, really nice. Much better than Gust, in it? It could lose, but it could lose, it could miss. We'll, st we'll still get rid of Gust, though. It's only 95 accuracy, it's not like it's awful. We gotta go back and heal. We gotta go back and train at some point. You're gonna give me a fresh war. Howdy, sport. If you're here to face the gym leader, you'd better be prepared. Devon here uses a variety of Pokemon which are found in caves. Be ready to face rock, ground, and poison types. So, rock, ground, and poison. Ground's gonna be difficult. Ground's gonna be very difficult. Burby might be able to deal with the ground types. Poison types. Also gonna be difficult. Rock is gonna be easy because I have low kick, and rock Pokemon are quite heavy anyway. So that's going to be nice. If you've got a water or fighting type, I'm sure they'll come in handy for their, this battle. Here, take this. I just need a blubber to learn a water type move, and we'll be fine. Because then the ground types won't even be a problem. But it is a problem, because we don't have the ground type. Uh, we don't have the water type moves. Even bubble? I'd even take bubble at this stage. I'd even take bubble. And bubble's like the worst water type move. I'd take it. But I feel like blubber's going to be like a... Maybe a physical Pokemon. Um, so we'll probably learn like, I'm trying to think of like a low attacking water type move, physical water type move, but I can't actually think of any from the top of my head, because obviously you've got like waterfall and stuff, but he's not going to learn waterfall at like level 14, so I don't know, who do we need to level up now, I think everyone just kind of, yeah everyone, yeah we'll do the gym next episode because there's, we're nowhere near ready yet. We'll go, we'll go up this bridge. We might not even be able to go this way anyway. So, yeah, we might have to beat the gym before we can go this way. I don't know. But we'll just take out these trainers because we need all the XP we can get. Feeling's great. I can low kick that. Hopefully it's not Intimidate Feeling. Hopefully it's Cute Charm. Okay, it's Cute Charm. Well, hopefully we don't get infatuated. Oh, this thing yawns all the time and it's super annoying. Because it's fast as well. And you see, two isn't even going to kill, so I'm going to have to switch out. I'll go into my own fangs and intimidate it and just kill it with fangs. If we hit Fury Swipes, which we have hit 2 out of 5 so far in this episode. So we'll pop the intimidate. Intimidate is so useful though. That's going to be really useful in the gym as well. Even though fangs isn't going to be good against like the rock or the ground types or even the poison types really. It's still going to be nice to have the intimidate and be able to yawn things asleep. Fury Swipes, let's go. Stop yawning me please. Outspeeding me on every department. We hit the Fury Swipes. Oh, hopefully we hit more than two and we should be able to kill this feeling. Never mind. Never mind. Uh I will just scratch it. We're gonna go we're gonna get put to sleep, but we'll we'll still scratch it. Unless this is this is their only Pokemon, then we won't. But I don't think this is gonna be their only Pokemon. Okay, no, it's not their only Pokemon. That's annoying, but oh well. A Fortog. Ugh, Fortogs are my worst fear. Because I actually can't kill it. Let's go into... Let's go into Yo Man. And just stomp it. Dark and fighting type. I always thought fighting resisted poison, but it's the other way around, isn't it? F uh, poison resists fighting. Which is annoying. This thing's level 14. We do outspeed it, so we can get some stomps off. Hopefully do a bit more damage. Nice! Oh, it was a crit. Oh, we get the flint. Oh, yeah, I forgot stomp has the flinch chance. That's really nice. We have guts as well, so I wouldn't mind getting, like... Um, you see, in, in the gym, I wouldn't mind getting poisoned because then 
if we can get a move off, Guts is going to like double, like really boost our attack up, which is going to be really nice. 301 XP. This Pokemon is so easy to level up. Beat up. I think I should learn that because it is a Dark type move, isn't it? We'll get rid of we'll get rid of Leer. It is a Dark type move. So for the Psychic types, it's going to be nice. Man, he's so easy to level up. It's unreal. Just because we traded him. Like, I'm going to get all the traded Pokemon in this game. Honestly, it's so much easier just to do it that way. Let's grab this Pokeball real quick. Hidden Power. That's nice. Cool to have. Kind of need to wake my feeling up. But I can't really be bothered at the moment. Because it's kind of just a waste of an item. But even though, I might just still do it. So who you got then? And Ekans. Who we got coming out? Who we got coming out? We've got Blubber. Hmm. Not the best matchup, really. And it has Intimidate. Ugh. Oh, wait. No clear body. Cool, cool. Blubber's always like, nah. Keep your Intimidates to yourself. You don't scare me, you snake. Let's pound it, though. Boys Sting. Can we get po I don't think we can get poisoned. I don't think that's in this game. I think that was obviously in the older generations where, like, grass types could get, like, um, leech seeded and stun spawned and stuff like that. But it has bite. It's going to flinch me at some point. I know it is. But if we could just pop off some more pounds. Don't flinch me and I'll be okay. I'll be okay if you don't flinch me. I think I, th I still think another two are going to kill it. I, th I think we, we don't... One more isn't going to kill it. It's not going to be enough. Oh, the crit. I think that crit mattered. I think that crit really did matter. 174. A Tancoon. Can't remember what that is. Oh, we need to go into our sheep. Real bad. And I'm going to go back to the gym after this battle. We'll try the gym next episode. I don't think we're going to beat it. Solely because of the fact that... This bike going to do nothing. Four. Solely because of the fact that we're underleveled. But I'm still going to try it. See how it goes. Howl is scary. Very, very scary. Ooh, ooh. Hit, him, hit him up with that low kick. Bang. Take a foot to the face. Nice. That's another crit. Yo man knows how to crit these things. I hope this thing evolves. I really do. Because it's so good. I really love it. And I think I'd only love its evolution even more. I do say that was a guy. No, you're not getting my number. Because you're like, it's 90 years old. Yeah, so there's a... Oh, who are you? Oops, sorry for moaning into you like that. I was in a hurry to the Pokemon Center because some Pokemon attacked me and my team in Comet Cave. If you want to pass through, it's better you find someone to go with you because Pokemon, they're attacking mobs. Well, good luck. Now, excuse me. Well, who's going to help me then? Let's just have a little look at this grass in case there is a good Pokemon we could use for the gym. If there's like a Psychic type or a Grass type, I don't want that. Go, Blubber. Really don't want that Pokemon. I don't think we'll be able to escape as well because Blubber's so slow. Nope, didn't think so. I think it's the same kind of Pokemon. Still can't escape. If it just kills me, I, I just want to run away from this fight. No, I didn't mean to do... Fine. You asked for it. Yalman's going to come in and low kick you in the face. More experience for me. I tried to let you run away. Didn't mean to run then. Damn it. That's annoying. Because now he might actually kill me. That's one thing I hate about this game. Like, It doesn't reset back onto fight. It's on what you last clicked. Bite should be okay though. I know you're a plus two, but oh, that did nothing. They should kill? No, again, the last one was a crit though. Oh, don't kill. So close. I think this this Pokemon, this sheep Pokemon, and my starter are going to be our big wing cons for the gym. Big wing cons. But we still do have the other, the bird in the back. We still have Crimson in the back, ready to um, send in if I need to like potion someone up or something like that. But um, we're not going to bite any. We're not going to fight any more trainers here. Because there's no, there's no need. Did I say bite then? I'm not going to bite any more trainers. Well, wow. English, not my first language. Well, it is, but you wouldn't think it. You would not. So let's run back to it, Jim. I think I'll just end the episode after we heal. Actually, I don't think there's much point in fighting all the gym leaders, uh, the gym trainers, and then finishing the episode. Because then you'd be like, we'll fight the gym leader. I'd be like, well, the episode's going to be too long. So it's not really a point. But we should be okay. I don't know who. I don't have a clue what Pokemon they're going to have. All I know is they're Poison, Ground, and Rock type. Which would be perfect if we had a Water type. But we don't. So, well, we have a Water type without any Water type moves. So it's good as nothing. But that is... every. Actually, you know what? I was told there was like some sort of Wonder Trade. Or something. Yeah. I, I came... I checked, I checked out here. 
I checked the upstairs when I was grinding and there was a wonder trade section. So I'm going to wonder trade one Pokemon. I'm going to wonder trade this thing and see what happens. See what happens because I what if I, could, I I might get an electric or a grass or type. So Jack, Jack Deary. What is this then? It's in a. What is that? What is that? People, what is that? We've got to check that out. That is a bunny rabbit of the highest of strange Pokemon. Level 30, so I won't put it in my team, obviously. Has magic guard, fairy, and fighting. Wow. That's magic guard. That's really cool. I'm going to keep that Pokemon, but I'm obviously not going to use it. But Wonder Trader is definitely something I'm going to get involved in. Because it's going to be make easier Pokemon flight to level up and stuff like that. But that is everything for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please smash that like button below. I really do appreciate it. Remember my second channel, Twitch, Twitter, and Patreon, all in the description below. Be sure to check them all out if you haven't already. That is everything from me, though, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a glorious day, and peace.